Welcome to Shine So Fly. Today we will be doing pom poms. You will need yarn any color of your choice. Now take the yarn and what you're going to do is you're going to open your hands wide and three and just wrap the yarn around your two fingers because you're going to start off this is a small pom pom so just to do it quickly just wrap you're going to wrap and just make sure your hands are still in like a peace sign with your middle finger and your ring finger go ahead and cut And I like to double, make double strings to give the the inside of the pom pom to be more secure. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, you're gonna wrap it around the pom pom and stick it through the two fingers so that it's stuck on both sides. And then you're gonna tie it by you having one hand, um, you using your thumb as a support, and you just slide it right on off. It looks like a butterfly kind of, but you'll see it on both sides. And you're going to tie that knot. And you know me, I like stuff secure, so I tie it more than once. <laughs> so you're taking, like I say, it looks like a butterfly. You take your scissors, and you're going to cut where you see the loops at. Make sure you're careful not to cut the middle where your thumb is, because that's where it will stay together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to go back in and make sure that you didn't leave any loops. Um, and then you just fluff it out a little bit. And where you see the strings hanging like longer than the rest because you want it to be a, a circle, you know, you can make it in a wild circle or if you want it more, like more round, then you would cut it to your liking. The first one and, 40 views from the and just fluff it out. All right. Yeah. And you will see, there you are, your small pom-pom. That was quick and easy, right? So we're going to try it this time with a bigger pom-pom with your hand. If you're going to do a bigger one, you need four fingers. And you wrap it around the same. Use your thumb to hold it. And you just wrap, wrap, wrap. But make sure your fingers are spread apart so you won't cut off your circulation. And you're going to wrap it according to your thing. I eyeball it. I don't know how many times I rap, but I know I rapped a lot. Because <laughs> I, sometimes I like my pom-pom to look very full. So I just keep rapping. Um, but as long as you got your fingers spread apart, you'll be fine and you won't cut off your circulation. So be careful. And as you see, I'm showing you how, you know, I'm still, my fingers are still loose and still able to do a lot of stuff. So I like, I want to do this one in two colors. So I'm going to take that one. I'm also going to add white as you can see and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna wrap it on around and add it um, hold I held it and you just keep going sometimes you get tangled but it's okay keep going as you can see my fingers are still wiggling no blood circulation is cut off oh, stupid knot <laughs> but it's easy fix just keep continuing wrapping it's not gonna mess it up um, just keep going. And I think that's enough. So, this is the thickest that I like it. So, um, I just take the two colors. If those are the two colors, like I said, I like to double layer mine to give it more security. And I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to take the strings and I'm going to put it between the two fingers. Like, you know, because I'm doing two fingers. You spread the two fingers apart. Like I'm doing a Martian sign. <laughs> Tuck it in between the two fingers. And you'll see it will come through very easy. And you just take it and you use your thumb to hold it down securely so that you can tie it. Sometimes you might need some help. Thanks to my niece, she was there and she's helping me tie it. What an angel. <laughs> okay. 
Like I said, it'll look like a butterfly. You take it and you're gonna just like tie it tight. Make sure that it's pull that you pull tight. That is the key. Cause if you don't, it will come and loose. You have to make sure that it's pulled tight. Sometimes you can wrap it around. I'm showing you if you want more security, you can wrap it around on the opposite side. But I chose not to because I believe I pulled it tight enough. So I just tied another knot. So as I say, you see all the the white yarn where the bow is at. You will you keep your thumb so um where the middle is at, so you'll know not to cut that. But you see how it just sprout out just as soon as you cut it, it just like phew, explodes. <laughs> yeah, and so you just trim it up to how you like it. Let's get all that excess out the way. And you see it, then you fluff it, and there you are. You have two different ones. Now I have, I have one more I want to show you because this one is like um, people want to try a different yarn. So this is like a thicker yarn, way thicker. I'm gonna skip the wrapping part. I think I'm gonna just get to straight to the point. I just wanted to demonstrate that you could do it with any type of yarn, um, but your pom pom will look different. So this is that was one, and then I just went ahead and started where I wrapped it at. And I'm getting ready to tie it in my same fingers. And like I said, um, this is thicker, so you have to be a little bit um, careful with this one because um, it is thick. And it probably, you know, if you're not doing it right, it will fall off your hands. But same thing, double, like I say, double lines. I always do like double strings. Tie it. You still tie it with your hand. Mm-hmm. If you don't have nobody, I don't know where my niece went. She left me. <laughs> and you just tie it. Like I say, pull tight with this too. Um, it'll do the same. I, as you see, I did two colors instead of one. Mm -hmm. Just pull, pull, pull. Tie, tie, tie. No one's going to see the the middle. Because what's in the middle is um, going to be hidden by your pom-pom. But that is what secures your pom-pom from coming apart. See? And I just cut that. Now make sure you do not cut the middle. See that? Don't cut that. Be careful with that. Just cut where you see the loop set on the outside. They're a little different, so you might be cutting a little more than normal. But it's really, really soft, you guys. It's like a... Um, super soft like fleece almost like cotton um i bring it up closer so you guys can see it in detail with the bigger one so you can see exactly what to do and you see how i skipped over the middle and you just go ahead and cut it and just like i said just pops right on into place sometimes now this um particular yarn it costs a little bit more than the other yarns but um it you have to shake 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 this one because it sheds until you shake all of the shedding off once you shake it all off and you feel like you got it all off then it will stop shedding it will just but you're gonna have to shake 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 <laughs> so um do this pom-pom if you're at your own risk that's all i can say and you see it just fluff it out and um with these a little different you have to hold them you know you trim them make sure you got some really good scissors because like i said this is different yarn so make sure you have some really good scissors and you just gonna trim it trim 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 go ahead and trim those things on till you get it to you know your liking me um sometimes i trim too much um or not enough but you get the gist um i'm just showing you three cool different ways you can do it and easy ways it's pretty quick um, each one of them takes about three minutes a piece if once you get the hang of it. Yep, and you just trim it to your liking. And, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And stay fun.